Hello, everyone. My name is Samaya Alamin Turner. I am a senior here at Penfield High School, and I am the president of the Black Student Union. I wanted to take a moment to thank you all for coming to watch our show, and to those who are streaming, thank you as well. Um, the BSU is thrilled to be able to celebrate with the community and to be able to share our culture with you all. Every performer here has put in a lot of work to bring the show together, and I am extremely proud of every single one of them. But before we start, I would like to take a moment of remembrance for the elders of the black community that we lost in Buffalo on May 14th. Um, we mourn these precious people that were taken from us. They were loved dearly, and they were taken too soon. This year, they will not get to celebrate Juneteenth with us, and they will not get to tell their stories. But we will keep them alive, and we will tell their stories for them. So if I can just, um, if we can just take a moment of silence before we start. Thank you. Thank you guys, and I hope you enjoy the show. to our roots, always remembering our ancestors and those whose shoulders we stand on. Through culture and kinship, we find ourselves. We walk with our integrity, remembering to stay humble and noble as we strive for excellence. As we continue to honor our past, we forfeit the foundation of our future moving through this world with soul because we know our history and our culture is significant. Today, we are your storytellers. We will guide you through our Juneteenth celebration, hoping to spread our knowledge and joy with the community. What is Juneteenth anyway? Juneteenth signifies the breaking of the last bonds. The holiday celebrates freedom and commemorates the end of slavery in America, acting as catalyst for remembrance and the honoring of our ancestors. On June 19, 1865, Union soldiers arrived at Galveston, Texas to announce the Civil War had ended and that all enslaved black and African Americans were free. Two years after Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, freeing slaves in the Confederate States. Some historians blame the lapse in time on poor communication in that era, while others believe Texan slave owners purposely withheld the information. Nevertheless, by a last show of force by the Union soldiers, these enslaved people were given their freedom. Juneteenth is now an official New York State holiday after Governor Andrew Cuomo signed a bill in October 2020 to commemorate the end of slavery in the United States. The bill became law four months after Governor Cuomo signed the executive order. And so, we, we celebrate. celebrate. We dance, we sing, we dine, we feast. We tell the stories, we say the names, we discover and we inform. We dream, we support, we pour life into, and we love. We hope that you enjoy our show and that you will continue to learn about and celebrate Juneteenth as well. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, my name is Jade Stewart and I am a sophomore at Penfield High School. Blackness, B-L-A-C-K-N-E-S-S, -S. blackness, B-L-A, brilliance, meaning exceptional talent or intelligence. When I think of brilliance, I think of George Washington Carver and, over and his over 300 uses for peanuts. Born into slavery, he was the first African American to earn a bachelor 
and science degree. Because he decided that it was possible, he showed others that in, it indeed was possible. We honor our ancestors who light dark paths and spark the will in us to try defying the greatest of odds. Love, meaning an intense feeling of deep affection. I hope to spread love like the late great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. could spread love. He once said, love is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. He taught us that we can break barriers and that with light we can rid out the darkness. So we will continue to break barriers and with love we can change the world. Ambition, meaning a strong desire to do or achieve something, typically requiring determination and hard work. As we dare to dream, our ambition is the wind beneath our wings. I will be ambitious like the late, great Madam C.J. Walker was ambitious. She was the first self-made female millionaire in the United States, a black woman who made her own way, who didn't take no for an answer, and strived to create a better life for herself and black women around her. During Juneteenth, we celebrate the freeing of our enslaved ancestors. We acknowledge their struggle, we learn our history, and we educate. We celebrate the people who advanced the, the black community through dark and dangerous times, people who decided to make a way for us, the people who came before us and who lit the path. We celebrate their brilliance, their love, and their ambition by demonstrating these attributes ourselves. And we hope to keep their flames lit as we teach the younger generations to continue to make this world a better place. Now please welcome performers Sadia Elamine Turner dancing to Spirit by Beyonce, followed by Jessica Poe singing Don't You Worry About a Thing by Stevie Wonder. Witness brilliance, love, and ambition. Thank you.
I'll be standing on the side when you check it I'll be standing on the side when you check it out. When you get off your trip, everybody needs a change, a chance to check out the news. Changes you take yourself through. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing, baby. Cause I'll be standing on the side when you check it out. Don't you worry about a Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. Ba 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 Hello, my name is Isaac Brown and I'm a sophomore here at PHS. Blackness, B-L-A-C-K-N-E-S-S. -S. Blackness, B-L-A-C-K. Culture, meaning the customs, arts, social institutions, and achievements of a particular nation, people, or other social group. It is that culture in the black diaspora is rich and runs deep. During the transatlantic slave trade, Stolen peoples brought to the Americas the greatly varied cultures of their homelands, including folklore, language, music, and foodways. In forging new li lives with one another, as well as neighboring Europeans and Native Americans, rich varieties of African diaspora culture took root in a new world shaped by the cultural innovations of Africans and their descendants. Hair braiding and hair practices were also passed down. Hair braiding was even used to relay messages. For example, to signal that they wanted to escape, women would braid a hairstyle called departs. And even when enslavers purposely tried to strip these people of their identities by giving them European names, enslaved peoples chose names for themselves such as Abba, Bila, Komba, Dib, 
Juba, and other names that, that would be used in private. These people beat insurmountable odds. Not only did they survive, but they found ways to live. Kinship, meaning a sharing of characteristics or origins. When we celebrate Kwanzaa, we recite the principles of Omoja and Ujima, meaning unity and collective work and responsibility. When we know how important our ties are, because it takes a village to get through in this life. And when we celebrate Juneteenth, we recognize our ancestors and we celebrate our connections to them through thick and thin, during times of uncertainty and pain, and during times of prosperity and gain, we maintain the community. As an old African proverb goes, kinship is like tough gourds. When they knock each other, they never break. Now please welcome Kyla Batiste singing At Last by Etta James, followed by Sadia Elamine Turner as she dances to Sante, and then Leah Williams, Shaniqua Miller, Damoni Davis, and Kyla Batiste as they step. Witness culture and kinship. Thank you.
blackness. B-L-A-C-K-N-E-S-S. -S. Blackness. B-L-A-C-K-N-E. Noble and excellence. Many outside the black community may not know that Juneteenth has, be, has been celebrated for a very long time. Before Juneteenth became a federal holiday, it was indeed still legitimate, meaningful, and an important holiday to the black community. Since 1865, African Americans have been celebrating this day of liberation. Noble. Meaning, or have, meaning having or showing fine personal qualities for high moral principles and ideals. And excellence. The quality of being outstanding or extremely good. It was through the nobility to fight for what is right and the excellence to organize and be victorious that I stand here with you today. Now I'll tell you a story from the perspective of a young girl named Ruth, celebrating one of the first Juneteenths, written by Karen Cullen. It was a wonderful day. Juneteenth was on a Sunday, the Lord's Day. Most folk got to lay aside the farm, work, and get ready for worship. I looked at the people marching along, head held high. We got to the church and the folk just prayed. I remember looking around at all those faces. I knew people that had been slaves. Mr. and Mrs. Avery, Miss Haiti, Miss Lottie, Mr. Ham, Miss Julie, Mr. Carl, Miss Hannah, and Miss June. She was the oldest one in the community. She was enslaved the longest. Their faces were creased with sadness, but then it was as, as something took over. The veil fell over their eyes and they shook their heads, looking like stone. There were praises and thankfulness for all those that made it through, and a ceremony to honor the ancestors. Reverend Moss talked about all the folk who lost family members from being sold and never did find them after war. This was a day of remembrance. No longer slaves, no longer in bondage, free. To a 10-year-old, Juneteenth is just good food. The folk got together and made wonderful dishes. There was fried chicken and cornbread, greens and beans with okra, tomatoes, fresh corn, and roasted yams. There were cakes and pies, cookies, and cool fresh lemonade. We had us a feast. Mr. Coleman took out his fiddle and played for the people. He only did it on Juneteenth. I remember the stories he told about being made to play while he was in bondage. The folk tapped their feet and clapped their hands. Some got up and did a cakewalk. Oh my, they were looking really grand. Me and my friends ran around having fun. At the end of the day, I asked my daddy if, he, if I could stay to help clean up. He looked at me and said, My daddy laughed and I helped clean up and put everything away. All the benches went back into the church. I know you can tell I'm a daddy's girl. We waved to the others as we left and I declared that was the best Juneteenth ever. Now please enjoy a performance by Shanuka Miller and Leah Williams as they perform Justice for All. of the United States of America and to your republic of which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Who's all, not us, cause still day by day little black girls and boys and especially older generations are being murdered all around the world because of the color of their skin, their flesh, something part of our body like everyone else, yet we get slaughtered for it. Why? Why, Why is, is it when, when we get in trouble by the law, law our consequence are an automatic death, death sentence? Death is our consequence. Mental health is their excuse. Ten deaths, three, three injuries, injuries, one apology. apology. Ten blacks dead, three whites injured, one white man with an apology. But what do we get? We get to become a passing track. Hashtag BLM. I'm pregnant, I can't get y'all to the ground. Says 26 year old Leona Hill. Leona's back in her vehicle. She tells the police her gun's in the back seat. Not one, but several police officers have her at gunpoint. Leona takes three steps back. She's shot five times and falls to the ground. Ruth Whitfield. Say, Say their names. names. Pearl Young. Say their names. Say their names. Say their names. Say their names. 
But let us say our success to be in black, because we are successful because we are black. Wow, I can really see why they want to be us. We're trendsetters, leaders, fashion icons, and musicians. Hey, yo, turn up the speakers. We must end done. Y'all trying to belittle us. Yeah, y'all say we're trying to be us. We can't have nothing to ourselves without being so called gay. So excuse us for quote, quote, gatekeeping our safe space when y'all have a record of stripping things away from us. If, if you, you really want to understand us, us to hear, hear us, us let, let allow us, us, no, let us express our melanin, our culture, us. Hello, my name is Shaniqua Miller and I'm a freshman at Penfield High School. Blackness, B-L-A-C-K-N-E-S-S. -S. Blackness, brilliance, love, ambition, culture, kinship, noble, excellence. Now, soulful and significance. B-L-A-C-K-N-E-S-S. There is soul in everything we do. It is true, we are soulful, and I stand here now knowing our culture, our history, and our contributions are significant. As we move toward the end of our show, we thank you for joining us. We encourage you to get involved in the various Juneteenth celebrations in and around your community. And if you'd like to further celebrate Juneteenth but don't know where to start, we will share with you a few ways to celebrate Juneteenth this year. Number one, family gathering and unions are a great way to celebrate. Get together with your friends and family to learn, educate, and celebrate. Number two, celebrate through cuisine. Red is the color associated with the holiday as it symbolizes sacrifice and transition. Celebrations typically include red foods like red velvet cake, red beverages, watermelon, and barbecued meats. Ooh, child, that sounds good. Anyways. <laughs> Popular sides including cornbread, collard greens, and cabbage represent prosperity, good fortune, and wealth in black history. And three, support black-owned businesses. May I emphasize for y'all? By shopping at a black business, national or local, you're showing support for that advancement of black people in the American economy. You're also likely stumbled across some awesome new brands. I'm a Dale Tech, by the way, so you can come support me. <laughs> Number four, donate to, donate to support organizations. One way to celebrate Juneteenth is by donating to organizations that support black communities. Find organizations that resonate with your beliefs or support causes you are passionate about. The American Civil Liberties Union, the Bail Project, and the Black Journalist Therapy Relief Fund are a few to consider. Thank you again for being here to celebrate Juneteenth with us, and please welcome Sadia Alman Turner as she performs to A Change Is Gonna Come by Sam Cooke, followed by the Black Student Union as they perform a group dance to As by Steve wonder. Thank you.
Fleming for helping us out with this production, Mrs. McCleary and Miss Kimberly Brown for making this all possible. And can we get another round of applause for our BSU, please? Thank you. We would also love to give a very, very special thank you to Mrs. Watt for all of her support. We couldn't have got it done without her. And uh, yeah. Celebrate Juneteenth this year, guys. We hope you learned something, and uh, go out there and celebrate. <laughs>